dear friends today so today i am going to discuss chapter 3 of class 12 mathematics that is matrix so what is matrix matrix is a rectangular arrangement rectangular arrangement arrangement This 
itself belongs to row 2 and column 3. So there A2 means this element belongs to second row and third column. So in this way we can locate any element and their proper address in terms of row and column. That's why matrix is a rectangular arrangement of M n elements in M rows and N columns. So every element belongs to certain row and certain column. And all this arrangement is rectangular. Why is it rectangular? Because every row are of equal length and every column are of equal length. So this whole picture, this whole arrangement looks like a rectangle. That's why this arrangement is called a rectangle arrangement. We can write this matrix in, in salt A I Z M cross N where this A I Z I is equal to 1, 2, 3, dot, 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 M and J is equal to 1, 2, 3, dot, 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 M. It means if you put I equal to 1 and J equal to 1, you will get this element A11. One, one. So we can arrange this matrix or expand this matrix in this way. So this is the expanded form of matrix and this is the solved form of matrix. Now, we have different types of matrix. Is 
कॉल एम क्रॉस एम इज कॉल कॉलम मैट्रिक्स इफ एन इक्वल टू वन दैट इज equal to aij m cross 1 it means this matrix have m rows and one column for example a is equal to say Having three rows and one column. Second is row matrix. A equal to A I J M cross M.
हेयर वी हैव टू कंसीडर प्रिंसिपल डायगोनल एलिमेंट सो लेट ए इक्वल टू ए आई जे एम क्रॉस एन इज कॉल्ड डायगोनल मैट्रिक्स इज कॉल्ड diagonal matrix if all its non diagonal elements are zero is called diagonal matrix if all its non diagonal elements non diagonal elements are zero that is a i z equal to zero if i is not equal to j so suppose we take example a 1 1 A one two dot dot A one n A two one A two two dot dot A two n here A I J A M one A M two and dot dot A M N. This is called diagonal element. This element is called principal diagonal element. So here definition says this matrix will be a square matrix. Obviously, M cross And provided f equal to n, so in this matrix, this elements elements belongs to this is called diagonal elements. And all these elements, all these elements are non-diagonal elements. All these elements are called non-diagonal elements. So elements divided into three parts. This is upper triangle. This is lower triangle. So if this matrix, if if this element is zero, then this is called upper triangle matrix. And if this element is zero, it's called lower triangle matrix. So for diagonal matrix, we have to only say that these diagonal elements, this all these non-diagonal elements. In this elements a one two two a one n n two n this triangular matrix either upper or lower triangular matrix all are zero that is e i z equal to zero so elements belongs to this region in which i is never equal to zero okay and we don't say anything about this diagonal elements these diagonal elements may be zero may not be zero I am not saying anything about it. Okay, I am only saying that this matrix, this square matrix, first condition is this matrix must be square matrix. This matrix must be square matrix. Okay, this matrix must be square matrix. So a square matrix is said to be diagonal matrix if all its all its non-diagonal elements. R G okay. So we can take example. A is diagonal matrix if two zero and zero one. This is diagonal matrix okay because this is. 
diagonal elements and these two elements are non diagonal elements which are the g
again identity matrix with the square matrix is diagonal matrix is scalar matrix so along with these three condition fourth condition is that all its diagonal elements is equal to 1 okay so a square matrix a square matrix
a equal to a i j m cross m. This is no, this is not a square matrix. This is any matrix. It may be a square matrix. It may not be a square matrix. So a equal to a i j m cross m.
वन टू थ्री फोर वन टू एंड बी इक्वल टू वन टू थ्री एंड फोर वन टू देन वी कैन से देन ए इक्वल टू बी और इफ यू टेक ए इज इक्वल टू ए वन वन ए वन टू ए टू वन ए टू टू एंड बी इज इक्वल टू बी इज इक्वल टू बी वन वन बी वन टू एंड बी then a equal to b if a11 equal to b11 a12 equal to b12 a21 equal to b21 and a22 equal to b2 so under this condition we can say these two matrices are equal their corresponding elements are so okay after this after discussing what is matrix what are the different types of matrices in next class we will discuss about the operation on matrices that is how two matrices can add together and how two matrices can multiply together okay i am dr h n jha from kendriya vidyalaya bsf chavala so uh, in this uh, critical situation of covid 19 kvs delhi region provide us their form to teach you something from home itself okay thank you very much